to share about the Heart Song Voice Liberation Workshop that we're going to be doing together this August in Utah. It's going to be directly after the Strawberry Fields Music and Enlightenment Festival that we're actually both going to be singing in as well. And we're going to have this beautiful three-day workshop directly after that where we're just going to really be going deeper into how to use the voice as a way to connect with the spirit. It's actually not really about singing. It's a portal into opening up to something beyond that. So to start with, um, I just wanted to hand it over to Netta because she has just recently come back from San Francisco where she was singing at the uh, ACIM conference there and I think um, many of you were probably at that conference and met her and got to hear her beautiful voice and her beautiful songs just pouring through from the spirit. One of those songs was the song that I shared um, in the conference, God is the love in which I forgive myself. It's a beautiful song but like the first time that I had to professionally record it in the studio, my whole voice and everything just blocked, like I, I just literally couldn't sing it. I couldn't come past the the first chorus. Like it was terrible. My whole voice is cramped up, and I just felt like I can't sing this. I can't. How can I mean this? God is the love in which I forgive myself. Like my whole ego. Like all of these guilty thoughts came up. Like I'm not. I'm not good enough to be forgiven. I. I I'm supposed to be punished. And there was so much stuff that I had to go through first before I could actually really sing that with so much ease. Mm. And at a conference, it was the first time that I actually shared that song live. And wow. so easy, like the, the song just flowed through me. Like it was like, I didn't have to do anything. I was just watching myself and that was so healing for me as well to share it with everybody. And like so much people were crying and they would come up to me like all crying and hugging me and yeah that was just for me that reflection of being so much more of service for everybody that I was singing it for Mm. that they could feel that in their heart so yeah everybody everybody is welcome if you have experience with singing or not at all like it's really not about singing it's more like most of the times I don't even call it singing but like sounding Mm. you know because it's just you're using your voice to um, uncover everything inside of you that is ready to be heard. Hmm. It, it's a really beautiful way to just shine light up on, upon whatever wants to be seen in this moment. And when you have a witness to that as well, when you sound that, when you sing that, and there's a witness that is open for your voice and is open to hear that, then that is so healing. It's like we all have this light, this burning light that, that wants to come through. And it can come through in so many ways. But I feel like the voice is one way that we can really like let that light shine. Just, yeah, Definitely. take off all the parameters, take off all of the yeah. all of the control and constrictions we put on saying, you know, this Definitely. is what I want to share. And the thing with that I always feel with music and what a lot of people in the conference also told me what is so beautiful is that sometimes you can feel um, you'll, you'll hear students say like, Oh, I don't, I don't feel it. Like I don't have the experience. Like they'll come to workshops or they come to talks and they, they, they receive it in their heads. Um, But there's something about music and there's something about also expressing yourself through sound that brings you straight from the mind to the heart and to the experience. Mm. And that is is so amazing that Mm. it really um, invites you to feel Mm. and to step into experience rather than into thinking about it or, Mm. uh, so that's something Mm. very, very beautiful and helpful, I think. Um, We wanted it to be an intimate group. So at this point, you know, there are going to be a number of us at the workshop. Um, there's going to be Netta and myself, um, Jason Warwick, Kirsten Buxton, Ricky Como are all going to be collaborating. And also David Hoffmeister is going to be there and he's going to do um, some sessions. So 
it's going to be an amazing few days but with regards to actually exploring the voice and using this as a way to really deeply connect with the spirit Netta and I are going to be facilitating those sessions so we wanted to keep the group um, small enough that we could really everybody could feel very safe you know everybody could feel like they could give themselves permission to open up so at this point we're going to just have 30 participants um, coming to the workshop and we've actually already had quite a few signups which is very exciting so it's going to be very safe and very intimate thank you oh, thank you Netta <laughs> yeah and yeah just a huge warm invitation to to all of you and um, yeah hope to see some of you in August I forget